How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and this week you guys have outdone yourself. The posts that you guys sent me this week are top notch. Okay, these are by far some of the ugliest and worst cars I have ever seen. Now I know beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I'm just here to say a couple jokes to make you guys laugh. That's all. Don't take personal offense to this. But honestly, these are some top notch ricers. Okay, quick reminder guys, go pick up some merch. We got a little spring collection going on now. Pick up a tank top or a light colored shirt, you know, wear it to a beach, whatever. Anyway, let's just dive right in with the first post. First up, we got the 2007 Ford Focus for trade or sell $3,800 in Gaylord. This car fits in perfectly there because from the first picture you can just tell this car is made for one thing and that is to demolish track times okay but we'll get into the car in a second let's read his description 07 super sharp ford focus with custom paint job sharp head turning car i love when they say that because they swear that they're turning their heads because this car is sick they're turning because they're wondering what the hell just drove past them okay good tires runs and drives perfect and smooth i did just hit a deer in the front however all right so you just Kind of contradicted what you said before you said custom you know sharp head turning car super sharp car blah 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 it might be sharp but you know sharp enough to kill a deer sounds like let's dive into the photos oh, oh, oh evo and wrx drivers please okay you guys need to take some notes right here do yourself a favor get out a pen get out a piece of paper and start taking notes okay you need to have the checkered flag going down the side of your car and you need to have your car say world rally on the side let everyone know that you win rally races okay the checkered flag just letting everyone know this is what he sees the most he sees the checkered flag to let everyone know he's winning okay these cheap fender flares hopefully we get a good shot of the fitment of that because i guarantee it's still on stock fitment and so those are sticking out maybe a good two three inches i'm really interested in this front end though so let, okay here we go perfect front end shot right here the guy's still in the car so that must have been just an awkward little hey man do you mind if i just get out really quick in the middle of nowhere and take some photos dude we're gonna be late for the movies nah man let me take some photos really quick i'm trying to sell this thing all right fuck it so he stayed in the car fake cow hood i haven't seen this before i am really amazed by this but honestly i think he would have benefited more from a fake hood scoop than a fake cow hood because no fucking rally cars really have cow hoods they have hood scoops, you know, the Evo, the WRX, they got little hood scoops. What are these lights pointing at? Okay, this one's pointing straight up, this one's pointing straight, this one's pointing down, this one's pointing down, and this one's pointing to the side. And it looks like he's missing one. So that deer did a little bit more than just dent your hood a little bit, which we see right there. Racing stripes, letting everyone know what he is here to do. You see him on the highway, do not cruise up next to him because he's about to gap your ass, okay? This little lip on the back, I, I kid you not, this has to be the cheapest and most feeble looking lip on the back I've ever seen. It looks like someone straight up got a yardstick, painted it black, and just bolted it to the trunk. It is so thin that it is probably just flapping back there. TRD, this, oh my god, this isn't even a Toyota. What are you doing? This is a Ford. No, man. Whose man is this? Come on, this isn't even a, this is a Ford. What are you doing? What's, why do, why do people put these shits on their car? You got the little eyeballs back here, like it's supposed to scare you or something like that. And you got this one where it looks like something's kind of lurking underneath your paint or underneath your fender. Like, yeah, they kind of look like little illusions and shit, but what's with them? Like, underneath the hood, completely stock as well, because he knows this is exactly how Henry Ford himself would have wanted it. He knew when he was designing this car a long time ago, you know, 100 years ago or so, when Henry Ford was on his deathbed making plans for the ford focus for the future he knew that he would not have wanted him to change it so he left it completely stock respect to you man this is exactly how henry ford himself would have wanted it he knows that you know ford he wanted this car to be a track killer you know he wanted it to be you know get the get the fastest times on any track it was set on so so that's why he left it stock because that's what it was intended to do props you know i can't diss him on that but honestly this exterior of this car is just it's it's the ugliest fucking ford focus i think we've seen we've seen some really bad ford focuses but this one is just it's it's horrible okay he's trying to look fast okay if you guys are going in the comments saying that's not rice drew that's he's a, a rally it's fucking rice okay he's trying to look fast you cannot defend this car and say that he does not rice this is the definition of rice he's trying to look like a rally car and he's completely stock and he's on a ford focus i'm sorry but this is rice okay anyway let's move on to the next car next up 2014 chevrolet corvette stingray for sale from the first picture we can just already picture the owner i don't think it's any of these guys in the background but i'm picturing middle-aged white guy with some denim shorts and some new balance shoes okay tucked in polo shirt maybe maybe not maybe just a tucked in shirt maybe a tucked in like 70s rock shirt i'm guessing or a Corvette club shirt, I don't know, with a nice hat. 
that's who I'm picturing drives this car. This car screams midlife crisis. I'm sorry. Looking at the front bumper, he has transformed this car from a little innocent little stingray to a fucking killer shark. He's got teeth on the front end, eating up all of the little Mustangs in his way. Do not mess with this shark. It is no longer a stingray. The stingray spelled out on the hood, Chevy badges, a skull badge, extreme on the hood as well. Flames going down the side, not even coming off of the wheel. It's coming out of the fake vents on the side of the stingray. I think on the Z06, they're real. I don't know about on the stingray. I think they might just be there just for styling. I did work at Chevy for a couple years, but I didn't really care about the stingrays that much. So, but he's got flames coming out of the vents. Nevertheless, Chevy badge down here on the lower door. I can see that you guys might've missed it, but I can see it right there. He also has a Corvette banner on the windshield. This guy just wants everyone to know what he's driving. He made it in life. He has bought the Corvette that he has wanted to all of his life. Okay. Extreme on the rear quarter panel back here. And then just to top off the back, he got the Amazon wing, which is actually parallel to the floor it is not doing down force it is not doing up force it is just completely neutral it is just there for looks does absolutely nothing no down force none at all okay you can't defend this wing this wing is just there to set your coffee cups on while you're at cars and coffee you can set it there you can put your food there it's a multi-functional wing it looks cool and you can use it as an actual table Oh, what does that badge say? I think it says extreme again on the rear quarter panel, letting everyone know his lifestyle is absolutely chaotic. I didn't notice it the first time around, but he's got some ancient Rome spiky lug nuts trying to defend anyone who comes near his wheels. I know a lot of this would be, you know, easily removed. Say you buy this car. A lot of this is just stickers and shit like that. But that wing is, is permanently going to leave holes in your trunk. It is absolutely useless. It's like the cracked out ZR1, okay? This is this is like a cracked out ZR1. Someone that wants the ZR1, but can, obviously can't afford it, this is what they do to their car. They're like, yeah, you know, I'd like to have the ZR1, but honestly, the Stingray is a bit better. You know, it doesn't have a supercharger, so it's not as heavy. Uh, honestly, I think the Stingray would get it or in, a, in a track. I don't think the ZR1 has anything on the Stingray. Uh, the ZR1 is just for those people that just, you know, buy the cars and leave them in their garage. But the Stingray, this is a real driver's car, okay? This is the car for people that actually want to drive their car uh corvette owners when are you guys gonna learn let's just get on to the next post next car 2004 subaru wrx impreza Ooh, all right we'll dive into the pictures in a second okay we got a lot to say about that let's read his description really quick though hi i'm selling my wrx impreza front lip rear lip and sides not included have sti hood and sti wind what i have extra turbo going with two it have brand new turbo right now, have reg panel rust, car need head gaskets, and maybe tune, runs pretty strong. I have some parts to go with too. Have brand new fog <laughs> lights, custom shift knob, some more. Okay, so this guy's obviously not mentally there and his car kind of shows it because he cannot type a paragraph to save his life. Um, yeah, okay, well, you could keep your front lip, buddy. I don't, <laughs> I do not want that front lip. You could keep, you know what? I'll, I'll do, I'll do you one more. Keep the car. Just, just keep the car. No one's going to want this car. No one wants your front lip. No one wants your sides, which we'll get to in a second. And no one just wants this car. What color was this car originally? Because I see some like rattle canned blue underneath the hood. And then I see some black. And then I see some sticker bombs, some pink. This car is just a mess. Are sticker bombed cars still cool? Is this still cool in what, 2019 now? Is this shit still, you know, hot shit? If you pull up to a car meet, is, you know, are people like over here like, wow, that car's fucking sticker bombed. Everyone knows you're just covering up some shitty paint or some little like dents or shit. It, you're not, you're not sleek there, okay? Sticker bomb is not cool. Custom shift knob, that's your custom, wow, that's your custom shift knob. Is that a piece of wood? That's a wooden shift knob. Is this your custom shift knob? Is that your custom shift boot too? You know, where it looks like you, you bit the shit out of your, your shift boot? Or you, you get hungry in traffic and just start chewing on that shit? Wow, you should have said custom custom pink trim on the interior too. That, that's custom, right? Okay. Pink hood with a fake hood scoop. You have the real hood scoop. Why even bother with the fake hood scoop? Okay, we could see inside it. I'm looking right there. I'm pointing at it. We could see it goes nowhere. Why even have it? Just leave your... You have the real one, okay? This car, like, say it was just pink and black and it didn't have the sticker bomb mess on it. It wouldn't be that bad if it actually was done right. You know, say it didn't have the stupid hood scoop and shit. But it was just pink and black. It wouldn't even be the worst car ever, okay? But... Being that it's just a huge mess, I don't know. I'm not feeling it, okay? And then look at these look at these fender flares right here. What are you going for? Do you want to be flush or not? Because your car beforehand, being that it was probably just all stock, probably looked fine, okay? But then you tack on these three inch wide fender flares and then don't even do shit to fix it. No spacers, no offset, no nothing. Wow. 
Like, ignore the shitty paint in this photo, but look how bad his fitment is. Just take off that trash. One thing I noticed is that in, in, in these videos and in these posts, if they just took off the shit that they put on the car, the car would be fine. The car would be absolutely fine. Besides the shitty paint of this car, it would be fine. Take off your stupid fender flares and your lips and your skirts and shit. Keep that shit and this car would be probably fine, okay? Yeah, you got a stupid probably knockoff STI wing, whatever. I like WRXs a lot. They're one of my favorite cars. You know, I want to own one one day. To, to find one in decent condition, it can cost you a pretty penny. But why would someone do this to their WRX? They just must not love their WRX because this is just got to be the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. Anyway, last car, 2009 Chevrolet Cobalt, $5,500. This first picture just lets you know exactly what you're getting into here. You're getting into a goddamn exotic car. That's what this thing is. Look at those aggressive canards. You see those? You see those little those, those canards right there? Yeah, those were designed by Elon Musk himself. Maximum downforce, maximum durability. Even though they look like they will fall off if you bump into them with your knee or something like that, Elon Musk ensured that they are super durable. They actually use those on his SpaceX rocket ships, okay? These are the same same parts, same exact parts. The little fins on the rocket ship, same shit right here, okay? Lambo doors, we'll get into that. We see that a lot, but this fake fender vent right here. Now to to the common person, they're just thinking Oh, he's got a he's got a fender vent right there. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's that's aggressive. That's that's cool It's all intimidation. It's a mind trick right there. It's placebo effect. He has it there So it's got to work. It's all placebo. Okay. It's psychology at that point Lambo doors you pull up to the local Applebee's at what 2 a.m. When they close you find some drunk broad open the door for her Instantly she's moist instantly. I am sorry. She sees that door go straight up instead of wide Instantly moist. Okay. I spy a muffler delete. Okay letting people know a mile away that the king of the streets is coming i like your style dude i really like your style vortex generators you just need that at that point okay car's got some battle scars on this side understandable understandable and then after you open the door for that broad at 3 a.m at applebee's once she climbs in she goes from moist to soaking wet look at the skull decals okay don't mind the trash on the floor you know you're trying to sell your car don't mind the trash look at the skull decals right there Nothing screams I'm a boss ass person like those skull decals. You look like a biker straight up. You probably you probably have like a 16 inch beard. And then you got something else that's 16 inches right. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? Whoo, when you got skull decals, you're letting everyone know you're packing some heat. Following them up onto the A pillars as well. Wow. The attention to detail in this car. This is like this is the Mona this is the Mona Lisa of cars. You know what they say in Tokyo Drift? Han's car was the Mona Lisa. This is the Mona Lisa. This is all pure art. Onto the steering wheel as well. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm this is by far the best car I've seen all year. Into the engine bay as well. The Mona Lisa, ladies and gentlemen. The art does not stop on the interior. He lets you know underneath the hood. He's serious too, okay? He's not going for that just all looks, okay? He's serious. He brought the performance underneath the hood and just put emphasis on the skull decal. Last photo of the car just in all of its awe and glory. Pop the hood, pop the doors up, let everyone know exactly what you're doing. There's people across the street that are just, you know, drooling at the side of this car. Props to you, man. You have by far the coolest Chevy Cobalt I've ever seen. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments down below which one of these cars was your favorite. Go pick up some merch if you want. Hit the subscribe button to join the flock. Flock to the videos once you hear that notification bell ring. Until next video, peace.